Welcome to Cool Days 2024. Um, I'm joined now by um, Tim Hayward. Um, we were just talking about your quite interesting and checkered history in the, in the software. Um, how, how did you get involved in, in all of this? Um, why are you a developer? Why do you like I'm open not source? a developer. That's, why, that's, I'm, 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 I've always kind of thought that, that, that too many people think I'm a developer. I'm not. I deal in infrastructure. So operating systems, uh, firewalls, directories, whatever, putting it all together. The bit that does all the glue behind what the developer's done and the user needs. When did I learn open source? Well, like most people, I started with Apache. I mean, okay, it might have been a very early version of Apache, but nevertheless, it was with Apache and then Tomcat. And once you start with that, you can start building almost anything. And for me, open source has always made sense. It's a building block. It's not the complete, normally it's not the complete solution. It's a building block to what you'll want to do. So you're joining us um, in sunny um, Cambridge. Formerly um, sunny. Indeed, formerly, yes. You've um, come all the way down from sunny Scotland. And why, why did you come down here? And... Multiple reasons. Um, for me, it was looking at some of the new deployment mechanisms, particularly about the cool uh, management system on a large Kubernetes stuff, um, uh, and how I could leverage some parts of that in our rather more smaller uh, deployment. Uh, and looking at what HA proxy and, and, and configuration of that and how we can get over some of the, 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 the problems we've got. But I also brought uh, a couple of developers down, um, A, to uh, make relationships, because I believe that's a very important part of where you have collaboration, um, but also because uh, I find it expands people's minds, they start thinking more openly about what they're doing, and then they start to, 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 you know, to, to grow as a, as a developer and, and as a person. So um, um, tell us a little bit about your small development, uh, small <laughs> deployment. Um, what's, what are you so doing at IQX? Uh, we write a recruitment uh, package. Um, what we specialize is dealing with temporary workers. Where our unique uh, position is, we have the ability to do um, compliance as compliance should be done, and then use that to be able to sh fill shifts to the maximum. So if you have, you know, 220 open shifts, but you've only got 200 workers, all the right workers are assembled to the right place to maximize how many people are placed there. Um, the good news is that means that we have some excellent clients who do turn over some substantial sums of money a year. My job in life is to take that from being an on-prem uh, system to a SaaS solution um, and that's what I, we have done and part of that therefore requires an online collaboration item or on, uh, and that's where we're using Collabora. And um, how, how have you found that sort of, you talk about relationships, have you, has it been a friendly relationship, has it been uh, thorny, how, how have you found interacting with um, the uh, Collabora team? Of course, one has to say mixed. <laughs> no, it's been, it's been very, overall it's been fantastic. Um, uh, we have been fighting a bug, um, which we have laid fairly and squarely at your doorstep, only to discover after six months of fighting the bug that's got nothing to do with you at all. So it's very hard when it's not your fault to be blamed for what's going on, but you have coped with that very nicely. Where we've got to at the moment, uh, oh, our limitations we have have got nothing to do with Collabora, but it's going, well, what we're doing and how we're doing it is now working beautifully and it scales to everything we need, but we're, you know, it's early days for us still. Uh, we have a, a relationship with what I would describe as a sister company, Radical Systems, who is the largest supplier of self-storage software. And they will be the next destination that Collabora will be working with because they use many of the same components that we do and I am just satisfying their product. And guess what? They need a collaboration item. So we're about to have that. I mean, I think they have something like six and a half thousand customers altogether from Argentina to you know Scotland, so we're going to do we're doing that, and that seems to be working really quite well. But I also think you know if we start introducing them to things like having suddenly this online office solution that's just embedded inside the application they're using, it's going to expand what they do, and therefore want, and that's what I'm hoping is going to drive drive more bits and pieces as time goes by. That's my hope anyway. We'll see what happens. Well, we have the uh, the pleasure of uh, seeing you next year, twenty twenty five. I think it's quite likely. Fantastic. We will definitely be representatives from IQX. There will definitely be people to come down. Brilliant. Well, we look forward to seeing you again then. I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much. Cheers then.